What space? Give me your best definition. Um, if you're if you're you're Ryan here, and this is the enemy. Let's say the enemy Ryan here, and let's say his yeah, a DPS here, a DPS here, a support here, a support here. Your supports are down here. You got a DPS on the flank here. What space? Um, just like moving forward, just okay. like right. So, the, the, where, what space do you guys control right now? Where would you draw the line? Like about like where I am, or sure. Ryan. Sure. So, like here, you guys control this space, right? Yeah. Now, here's here's the thing. You are attacking. This is a soldier. This soldier okay. is on a high ground. Okay. That he controls that space, right? Yeah. That space is annoying, right? Why? Yeah. Because we can't get him off of it. Right. He's on the high ground. Is high ground powerful for a soldier? Yeah. Right. So it's annoying. Here's another thing. This is a really, really powerful little pillar here, right? And this no. is their in this is their Ana, okay? I was gonna say Zinia, but Ana's better. Okay, so this is Ana. Why is this space annoying for her to control? Um, think about your support's position, and think about this support's position. Who's got the better positioning? There, Anna. Right. Why? Because she has what? What does she have in front of her? Oh, cover. Cover, right? So this, you would like this space for your Anna. You would like this soldier to not have this space so that your soldier can take that spot away. And that's all that space really is. Space is good spots on the, the map for you. Or for your team to control. That's all. High ground, a flank, anything. So you look at you and your Reinhardt, you don't care as much about a high ground, right? You would like yeah. cover corner, but you don't care about that. But what you can do is if you get the opportunity to magically fly and land on top of the soldier, you can make him run away from that position and then your team can take it. Correct? Well, so yeah. then you're even if let's let's say you're playing a composition where nobody really wants high ground right it's still mm -hmm. worth getting rid of their good positions if if nobody else can use it right because it's still yeah, powerful okay. for their soldier okay so that's all spaces all spaces are good spots in the map with cover with high ground with health packs that are you would like to have now if you as reinhardt walk forward from this yeah. position here and you run through the enemy tank. Let's say you just pin him into his back line, right? Yeah. And now you are here and the enemy tank is also here. What yeah. kind of space have you created? Have you actually taken away any positions from the enemy team? No, just the not, not really, but why might you say you still created space? Because obviously you might say that, oh, I've created a little bit of space here, right? Yeah. But what else have you done? What are what are these angles, what are these positions now focused on right now? They're all going to be looking at me. They're not going to be thinking about utilizing that high ground to shoot your supports and DPS. They're all going to be looking at you. So they're actually not really utilizing those positions to their fullest potential, are they? Okay. So then now, no. you haven't directly created space. You have indirectly created space by distracting the people in the good space. You kind of okay. see what I'm saying? So yeah. now what can your DPS in this flank do? Even though he doesn't have high ground, what can he now do? He can pressure the soldier off. He can ground. maybe fight that soldier and win the high ground because that soldier got distracted. What can yeah. your supports do? Are your supports in as much danger right now? No. No, they can walk forward They can because they don't have the enemy DPS who are in good positions punishing them. Now, that's a very rudimentary understanding of space. That is level one, but there's a second level, and this is going to be an extremely important thing for you to understand as Reinhardt, okay? Okay. What is the weakness of Reinhardt? By far his biggest weakness. Compared um, to other things. No, no like range. Right, no range, no mobility. You have no way to... Sigma, if you're Sigma here, what can you do to create space for your team? Can you beat the Reinhardt in a 1v1? No. No. But what can you do here? You can just shoot him or shield him. Shoot him and shield him. He has to leave or he doesn't do anything. You can shoot him or shield him. He has to, she has to leave or she can't do anything. Okay, that's great. What about a D.Va? You can just fly. Zoom. Metrics. Right? What about a Winston? Zoom. Jump right? Him, you yeah. see this? So you don't actually yeah. deal with this space here, but you actually will take away this space here or you'll take away this space here. And instead of indirectly, you'll directly get rid of that spot. 
Now, here's the thing with Reinhardt. You don't have range, you don't have that much mobility, but you have more than you think. What would be better as Reinhardt? If it's a Reinhardt 1v1, your priority is clearing out the enemy Reinhardt, but this is when things get really scary. Watch this. If your first priority is to beat the enemy Reinhardt in a 1v1 so that he has to back up and then your team takes space, that's all fine and dandy. But then what happens when we do this? There is no Reinhardt. There is instead a monkey on a flank looking to dive your back lane. And this okay. is where Reinhardt's really struggle because yeah. they look at the situation and they walk forward through the choke. But are they pushing anything or pressuring anything right now? No. No. Remember the attention that you get, the thing that you brought up, creates space because it distracts people who are in good space. But right now, if you can't reach anything or reach anybody, if all you're doing is just st stuck in main, you're not creating space because you're not distracting anybody and you're not pushing anything out of an area, are you? No. So then what do you do? And this is the really, really hard question. You ever heard of LH yeah. Cloudy? Yeah, Cloudy, yeah. Okay. Cloudy got really famous towards the end of Overwatch 1 by playing Reinhardt in a very unique style. Did you follow much of him during that? Flankheart. Yeah, Flankheart. Right? Yeah, Flankheart. Yeah. And not just Flankheart. Did you ever watch him play in Watchpoint Gibraltar? Uh, no. He would climb up to the high ground, screw cart, and start swinging on them on the high ground. Now, Reinhardt can struggle with that. But the funny thing with Reinhardt is there is, is there a hero in the game that if you get heals, can any hero in the game beat you in a 1v1 in close range? No. So your job as Reinhardt is to, number one, you know, survive, to not take, to take as little damage as possible, distract people. But if there is yeah. enough, is to, you can also, if you can find a way to get on top of the soldier, he has to leave. He has to yeah. leave. And then what you do is you do this. It's like it's um, it's like bowling pins. You send him this way, and do you stop? No, you keep going. <laughs> then 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 they start rotating this way, and do you stop? No, you keep going. And you see okay. what you see what you've done here. Yeah, you've done this. And that's the challenge, is Reinhardt, is can I actually go around the map and clear space out from left, from right? Can I get to high ground in any way? If I can't, okay, what can I do? Where can I? Who can I push for my team? without taking damage and that's where it's going to take creativity and if you don't have that then you're going to have a really really hard time okay and most reinhardts are still stuck in that overwatch one mindset which was like 2016 trade with the enemy tank be better than the enemy tank and then you're gonna win but that didn't work as well towards the end of overwatch and it won and it definitely doesn't work in the end of overwatch 2 at all you see yeah does this make sense yeah. So your job is either to create space indirectly by pushing something and causing distractions, or directly by actually walking onto those high grounds, walking onto those flanks, and getting rid of these idiots. If there's nothing for you to push, find something to push. You don't need to kill it with your hammer, but you need to push it. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay.